Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of DX Engineering's Q&A Wednesday. I'm Mark, W8BBQ. And I'm Rod, K8RR. And today we're uh, going to be taking a look at the FTDX 5000 MP, uh, the ASU transceiver, mm -hmm. uh, with dual receivers and uh, a lot of nice features. Right, and last week we, uh, we did um, a little show on the different filters and how to use the filters in your radios and pull out, you know, some weak signals and stuff like that. Shift and in widths. Right. right. And because of that video, we've gotten even more questions and these, you know, wanting to go into a little more in-depth, you know, the AGC controls. Right. And, you know, so, hey, we're here to serve. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to take a look at um, AGC, which stands for Automatic Gain Control. And we're also going to touch on uh, the RF gain and the attenuator again as well. Yes. So, um, on this particular radio, where we have um, the main receiver audio gain and RF gain, and then when you turn down the RF gain, you can see the uh, corresponding uh, uh, change in the S meter. Mm -hmm. um, so, why why would we want to? choose a different AGC setting, Mark? I, I was going to just ask you that. Ron. Why <laughs> would we want to choose a different AGC setting? Well, for for when you're operating uh, CW, mm -hmm. I'll try to tune in a CW signal here. Is it is it helpful on a noisy band to have the AGC set to fast, medium, or slow? And the, and the key is, it depends on how strong the signals are mm -hmm, right. and how much noise there is. Exactly. So usually when you're on uh, CW, you'd be listening in a fast mode. Correct. So that you can hear the weak signals in between the strong ones, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Agreed. Like this. So we had a high noise level and we wanted be able to hear the weakest of weak signals. Mm -hmm. So we use a, f a fast AGC. Now, AGC fast means that the volume is, is controlled, but the, um, the level comes uh, back down when a strong signal pushes the, the gain up, uh, the gain control uh, down, then it, it re recovers quickly. Quickly. Right? Right. If we uh, put it to mid, then it uh, it responds uh, more slowly, mm -hmm. and then of course on slow, that's where you can even see on the meter the right. strong signals. The delay time um, for the push the push the AGC up, and then it it uh, it comes back down to lower signal levels more slowly, slowly. and that's uh, something that's handy when you're listening to strong signals uh, only strong signals and you don't need to hear in between. Right. Okay. Right. So, in connection with, with the correct AGC setting. And on this particular radio, it shows you the different settings that you're at. Yeah, at right. This location. Right. Fast, mid, and slow. Mm -hmm. There's also an auto setting um, that can be changed uh, in the menu mm -hmm. to do uh, a different things on different bands or in right. different modes. Right. And most of the newer transceivers have some form of the AGC Right. Fast slow. Right. Um, the, uh, now, the, the interesting thing is, is that you can use the AGC uh, usually on fast, or you can even turn it off mm -hmm. if you turn the RF gain way down. Right. Correct. So mm -hmm. let's turn the RF gain way down. And what happens to the needle and the noise when you do that? And you could see, I was going to even turn it turn the AGC off and now we don't have any automatic gain control so a strong signal could come in and and be too loud mm -hmm. but but now with the AGC turned off we're able to have complete control over over the gain with the with the RF gain the control RF. here and and set it to exactly what we need with the minimum of background noise right See how that strong signal could yes. come right over right. the top of it without the AGC on? Right. And we turn that back but on. 
and that wouldn't happen. Right, but another great example of how to, uh, you know, pull out the weak one, um, you know, a little bit of selectivity in the signal you're trying to listen to, just more tools that, um, that most of the new transceivers have. The RF gain and the AGC are really important to use as a tool, the, s the same as the shift in width, for uh, being able to uh, hear those weak signals that would otherwise be covered by uh, strong uh, signals. You can really listen in between the strong signals by manipulating the RF gain and the AGC. Absolutely. Very, uh, very helpful in CW mode, for sure. Um, also good on sideband, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, there are times when uh, there are strong adjacent signals, but you want to listen to the weak one in between. Right. And so you'll have to um, turn the AGC uh, to fast or medium instead of leaving it on slow. Because mm -hmm. slow would be uh, a rag chew kind of setting for exactly, the AGC. Right. So, so between the RF gain and the AGC and the, uh, the filtering uh, that we talked about last week, right. um, again, just more uh, quivers. Yeah, <laughs> more <laughs> tools. More, more arrows in your quiver of yeah. uh, DX knowledge. To yeah, that's right. To pull it, the signal there's out. a lot of uh, features on these radios, and the knobs and the buttons are there for a reason. They're not to be feared. They're, they're tools to be used. Right. So that'll do it for this time, and uh, we'll check you next week on Q&A Wednesday. As Rod K8RR. That's Mark W8BBQ. Take care. 73.